outside in the concourse area of this magnificent arena. Uh, but most of all, the fans have come to see this, the badminton. And next up, we've got an all unseeded men's singles semi-final. The left-handed Li Lin Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei against Anna's Antonsen of Denmark. Well, as far as the men's singles draw was concerned, by quarterfinal stage, we had five different flags next to the eight players, three players from China and two from Denmark. Only four seeds, two in each half of the draw. And by semi-final stage, the two Danes had reached the semi-final. So it's possible we could have an all-Danish affair. So the two players making their way onto court, uh, led out by the left-hander, Lin Chun Yi. What a moment for him. Uh, this is only his third Super 1000 uh, tournament, and prior to this, never previously beyond the second round. Mind you, this man, Anna Zantensen, has never been beyond the second round of this Malaysia Open in the past. Well, this will be a first meeting between these two players. And look how tall they are in comparison to the court officials. So Anna Zantensen wins the toss of the coin and has chosen ends, as he inevitably does. And he's chosen what I believe is the more difficult end, certainly for singles players, from which to start, and that's hitting with the drift. Well, I've watched every single one of Anna Zantensen's matches so far, all three previous matches, and I think he's been in better form than I've seen for a long time. At 26 years of age from Aarhus, and I, I believe he's six foot one, which is a bit taller than we've got there. He's number nine on the world ranking at the moment, which means he misses out on a seeded position at these major events, but has been as high as two. Four weeks at number two, and back in the end of September last year. Uh, beat the number eight seed, uh, Pranoy, in a clash of the World Championship bronze medalists in the first round, then Watanabe of Japan in the quarterfinal against last year's beaten finalist, the number two seed, Kodai Naro Oka, who dropped the opening game but uh, finished extremely strongly. Lin Chun Yi is 24 years of age, and he is uh, 21 on the world ranking. That's his highest. He's enjoying his 11th consecutive week at his career high of 11. Well, when you look at his results so far, well, in the first round, the World Championship bronze medalist from 2019, Wang Chalong, then the reigning world champion, uh, Widi Sun, and then the quarterfinal against the Asian Games gold medalist, Li Shi Feng, all of them in straight games. Now, if that's not an impressive set of results, I don't know what they are, uh, because that is simply extraordinary. Well, he won a couple of tournaments last year did the left-hander as we look at our court officials Fabio Beto from Italy and Sakamoto of Japan the service judge Min Chun Yi won the Thailand Masters uh, just under a year ago beating Ng Ka Long in the final Anna Zantensen like his opponent, uh, won a HSBC BWF World Tour event last year. That was the Korean Open. Also reached the final for the Singapore Open. Uh, that was a 750 event, whereas the Korean Open was 500. So Joachim Pearson. The personal coach of Anna Zantensen has become an independent player. On the right, Anna Zantensen, Denmark.
Min Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei, the left hander. In his first Malaysian Open here in the semi final. All unseeded affair against Amos Antonsen of Denmark. Now, before we go any further, uh, Greg, uh, two Danes in the semi finals. It's been quite a while since that's happened here at the Denmark Open. In fact, you have to go back 17 years when two Danes were in semi-final stage. Peter Gader, who ended up winning the tournament, and Kenny Jonasson, who both. That's a long period of time since two semi-finalists are from Denmark. It's yeah, especially seeing the quality they have also had in recent years. Yeah. Very looking forward to uh, seeing if Anna's going to Anna's Anderson can win this, and uh, also the match later with Victor Axelsson against Xi Xi. Yeah. See if it will be a all Denmark final. And he's got off to a good start. Well, we've had five all Danish men's singles finals in the World Tour era. Do you remember the last, Greg? Um. Oh, that's just wrong. I'll give you a clue. It was the French Open two years ago. Victor Axelsson and then Genka in the final. Yes. Was that a little bit plagued by uh, coronavirus times? Uh, I think we were pretty much out of it by then. Yeah. Oh, that, that, yeah, that hit the ground, that bounced. Yeah, good spot by the umpire. That's very sharp umpiring. Yeah, very good call. Not easy to spot. It's not easy. Even for us seeing it in replay, the umpire doesn't have that luxury. Well, I said in the introductions, Greg, the Lin Chun E had had a marvellous set of results. There's no doubt in that. Have you had a chance to watch him play much? Have you seen him much? Yeah, I've seen him um, quite a lot on the European Tour, actually. Um, he's a very up and down player, as we've seen by this tournament. He's had a great tournament. But often, he does struggle, especially against European players, players I've found. Because a lot he's lost in 2023 to seven European players. Seven oh. different uh, yes. Wow. And some of them uh, low ranked. So maybe it's a, a difference in styles and matchups. Where were those matches? They were all in Europe, though, which is, right. a, is a good point. Yeah. Because I think uh, last year was pretty much his first year as a regular on the world tour, and he probably wasn't so used to. Uh, dealing with jet lag, travelling to Europe. But it's a good point. I, I wonder why he struggles against European players. As you've said, it's his first year on the, the World Tour as such, so he would only mainly be exposed to more of an Asian playing style. So maybe it's something he's just taking a little bit of time to adapt to. I think Anders Anderson is very clever in the way he plays Bamsa. Yeah, tactically astute. That's a wonderful smash. So what is the difference then? When you, I know this is a generalisation, but if you say that he's 
he's only really used to playing the Asian style. What's the difference in the Asian style to the European style of men's singles then? Yes, definitely a generalisation. Yeah. Um, I would say more what we've seen so far from, from here. Uh, Anders Anderson is really closing down the court. Um, and there's not been too many long rallies. He's really trying to be proactive to take that net, especially this side. Yeah, as I was saying, I think that he's Eight. been in better form this time than I've seen for 18 months, two years. And his speed of movement, Hansonson, here in Kuala Lumpur, has been very impressive. Yes, I know he's been working hard on the training court. And that's um, showing like it's, it's been working. Oh. Yeah. Very, very nice. And uh, of course, all the injury woes for Antonsen especially in 2022. Four, eight. He withdrew from more tournaments than he actually played. He withdrew from 10 tournaments and only played more six. Least. I mean, you, you can't train properly if you're, if you're yeah, always in No, yeah. no. I think his priority was to get his body right, to allow him to be able to train more and meet the demands yeah. of the intensity of training that you yeah. need to put it's in more to easy. be a top level badminton player yeah yeah show her please he was actually at one stage on the cusp of being outside the top 32 in the rankings so there was pressure to him thank you yeah if you're outside the top 32 then you don't get into these elite tier tournaments yeah you have to play the lower tier four eight Play. And he did drop down to do that to the lower tier tournaments and then prove his, his class. That's short. Just wide. Well, Anthony really, really has Four. to put those shots away when he's got a short lift he's got to make it count so that was sublime deception Pinpoint accuracy. Yeah, well played. He's working his way back into the safety game. Yeah, no. and you can see from here. And as Anderson really doesn't want to lift. So far, the only time he's done one high lift uh, in this game so far, he's lost a point. All of his lifts are very flat.
think Anna's Antonsen would be very disappointed with those last two points. They're not mistakes that... Eight yeah, they were quite easy mistakes, the last two points. Yeah. And a third one. Oh, and back level. Lee Chun -E, five straight points. And nine all in this opening game. Checking the racket. Oh, challenging. Challenges out. Well, the shuttle was obviously deflected by the net ball, but was it deflected so much that it went wide? Let's have a look. Yes. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remains. So it's over 10 now. Play. Play. Four, 11, to the mid game interval, Carlos Antonsen with a two-point advantage. Eleven minutes played in the opening game. Yeah, just completely mistimed it. Introny. And a little hop and a skip from Anna Zantensen as he trots off court. He speaks to his coach, Jordan Pearson. Players on court. Well, players from Chinese Taipei have only ever won titles 11, at this nine. event. Malaysia are open in winning singles at times for the Ink has already won four. She has a chance to win five tomorrow. And men's doubles. Men's doubles 12 years ago. Fan Chia Min and Nisheng Wu. In fact, this man is only the second ever men's singles semi finalist from Chinese Taipei. First was 15 years ago. See you soon. Lost out to Park Sun Huang nine. in the semi final in 2009. So it's a pretty special achievement for Lin here, isn't it, Greg? Yeah, he's having a great tournament. I'm just thinking, had that 11 break. I think he's found a way, he's played himself into this, this match. This one after quite a poor start. 13, but then he doesn't want to let his let the lead slip away again now. No, I know. There's no doubt he was helped in his comeback from that 4-9 deficit oh. by we counted three on four steroids, yeah. didn't we? In three rallies for yeah. the Santos. So he's over I think that might have been on the back 30. of um, a few rallies where Lin Chun E was playing with some more purpose, so putting a little bit of extra pressure on Anders Antonsen. So maybe he felt like he had to go tighter on those shots. Ball. That's Ball. 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 Now, was that for taking the shuttle before it crossed the net? Hopefully we'll see that again. I'm not sure we'll be able to tell from that angle. Here we go. Oh, yes, good court. Oh, my goodness, the umpire's having a, a sharp day so far, isn't he? Yeah, hadn't crossed over the net when he hit it, and that's a fault.
just a little stamp of frustration after the error from Lin Chun -Yi. Yeah. between success and failure at a new level sport at this time. See the net move. We're now yeah. seeing a lot more of what I expected to see in this match. Uh, both players really trying to take the net. One of uh, E's biggest weapons and assets is his attack. So he's really trying to play a tight net shots to get the lift from Anders. Anders isn't wanting to give him that lift, so he's yeah. playing also net shots back. Yeah, so it becomes a big battle at the front of the court. White. I think in general the net shot in men's singles is one of the most, if not the most crucial shot. He was early enough to play the tight net shot. He's just trying to play it very tight. Well, Antonsen rushed to that four on lead and has pretty much kept a four point advantage most of the way through. This shows how you should be alert and right on it from the start of the match. Really afford to give your opponents a head start before you really get into it. So it's over 30, 60. Thank you. Nice. Next shot after next shot. That's exactly what you were alluding to, Greg. Yeah, he was very early to that. So he showed Andrew yeah. Anderson that he could play a lift as well. Great disguise. Thank you. Guaranteed to be an unseeded finalist. Both of these players unseeded in this tournament. The last unseeded winner of the men's singles was five years ago. And that also happened to be a left hander, a certain Mr. Lindan. I'm sure he's in a lot of the uh, these record books. Yeah. Bet you got a dollar on that. But for the record, in 2018, Lin Dan beat, beat number four seed Chen Long in the final. And it's the only unseeded winner we've had in the men's singles discipline in the Super Series and World Tour era at this event. 
in the men's singles discipline, of course. Eighty. That might be a costly error. on that return. Look how he just turns that racket head at the last moment. And I think Antonsen was struggling with those return of serves. A little bit because of his footwork. I think he's splitting his feet to look for the net shot. So it's catching him out a little bit. Oh, lucky net court. Raises his racket in apology. Over 1950. Nothing you can do about that. Two points away from the opening game, Anna Zantensen. in slow motion it appeared and even a smile from Antonson Thank you. oh my goodness that's just amazing isn't it <laughs> that's what we call perfection Second time of asking, yeah. and as Antonsen converts and takes the opening game, 21-16. First game won by Ellis Antonsen, 21-16. 23 minutes for that opening game, and it is uh, uh, just a little over that four-point advantage that he started with right at the start of the uh, match here. Should he will need a better start to game number two. 21 16 in 23 minutes. It's completely untimely. And again, it's been good start. And if you have two, you can start. That's the point. You can tell me. Yeah, I like to move in. I'm going to have a good move. Yeah. Team two. Team guy up on.
second game, level. Play. So Anna Zantinson one game to the good, 21-16 in this all unseeded men's single semi-final against the left-handed Lin Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei. Well, there was me saying what? at the end of the first game, Lin Chun Yi needed a better start to this second game than he did the first, and he starts with the service return error. Anything tactically you think, Greg, that oh. Lin Chun Yi should be trying now in the second game? I think he needs to use a little bit more variety around the front court. I think Anna Zanta said he's really reading his uh, net shots and pushes very well. And he's so high up the court, which enables him to take it earlier. So when you say more variety, what, what do you mean? Cross-court net shots or...? A little bit, yeah. Well, just a little hold Three. and then oh. lift. And Definitely cross courts as well when he's in a good position. Oh, that's a super smash. Yeah, there's no doubt Lin Chunyi's smashing and attacking play is his real quality. Yeah, and I'm not sure Anders will be doing that again. Oh dear. Four, one. Oh, wow. And of course, Lin Chun now playing with the drift, Five, that means that he's got to be awfully one. careful with those drives and lifts. Yeah, I don't think he did it well enough towards the end of that previous game. Yeah, and he wasn't behind that either. He seemed to be off balance when he played one. that smash. Yeah, and Anders Anderson just looks full of confidence now. He does, doesn't he? It's good to see him uh, back to somewhere near his best form. That was good control, folks. So over. Lin Chun Yi. Six. Play. That's what I'm talking about. If you can have that variety between lifting and playing the net. But that's the sort of thing that you want to see again, isn't it? Yeah, Anderson did it a few times actually in that rally. He came in, looked like he was going to play a net shot and just flicked it. Just to keep um, Lee Chun a guessing. Good umpiring. And as Antonson wanted the shuttle changed before the previous rally. And then when the Lin Chun E asked him to change the shuttle, he said no. Either the shuttle was fit for purpose or it wasn't. Quite a lot of mistakes creeping into the game of Lin Chun E now. Yeah, there's another. 
but you're right, Greg. I mean, ever since you said you wanted to see more variety Ten. in the front of court from Minchini, there hasn't been one single cross court net shot. Everything's been played straight. And I don't know whether that's the, the magnitude of the fact that he's in a semi final. There's a bit extra pressure, so he's not playing really free. Here's another straight one. Nicely done. Wow, didn't need to be that close, did it? Whoa! That was the first time in this game he got on a high lift. Right into the corner. That's a wonderful shot. Four, ten. Oh, Game interval, and it's a handsome seven point advantage to Anna's Antonsen of Denmark. Having already won the first, he's in a very strong position now. Game and 11 4 up, Anna Zantensen. Well, four. See how early he was onto that first net shot. Who, Antonsen? Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I think that might have been the second one. But he's really committing. I think he can afford to, can't he, Greg? Yeah. Because you know, he he knows that if his opponent lifts, there's maybe a reasonable chance that it's going to go long because he's hitting with the drift. Absolutely. Four. And he only seems to be playing Lynch on E. Only seems to be playing straight net shots. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great spot by you. Four. Uh, he's lost Four. the belief. It appears to be in Chunyi. He's almost run out of ideas, and Anna's Anderson isn't giving him any anything. Credit to Anna's Anderson. Great challenge indeed. 
play. A very tough one for the line judge to call that one. Yeah. Such a fast smash. a smash going for the line on the previous rally he now goes for a round the head smash and once again goes for a very close one down the line and he makes it i like the courage and the character to do that i think it's the only way he's winning points at the moment i think he has to be hitting those lines and he knows that but potentially that's why he's missing yeah because he's not giving himself yeah. margin for error it's over 65. But Anna's Anderson is just winning, obviously, as the scoreline suggests, the majority of these points, and especially the short points. And there's been quite a lot of short points. We've not seen many really long rallies. No, we haven't, in fact. I'd be very interested to know what the longest rally is so far in this many singles. Oh, lucky neck board. Over six, sixty. Oh yes, threaded it down the line, and it's a master class at the moment from Anna Zantensen. Yeah, he was clever there, he just slightly adjusted the positioning of his serve, so it went slightly across Lynch on his body, forcing him to play it straight up the line, and Antonsen was on onto it. Well, it was almost a cross-court net shot on the return of serve. Looks like he's struggling with the conviction to play these shots. Likely because of the pressure Anderson's putting on putting on him and has put on him put on him this whole game. Two points away from the second final at 1000 level. Make that one point away. Match boy. The only Six. previous final was the Indonesian Open. 2019. On the verge of making it two now, Anna Zantensen.
missed it. Delaying the inevitable, one suspects. Service over. That was probably the longest rally of the match. It might well have been. This time, second time of asking, and Anna's Antonsen is through to the final of the Malaysia Open. 21 16, 21 7 over Lin Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei. Only 41 minutes in match duration. That's his Anders quickest Anderson. match so 21, far. 16, 21 7. Delight and relief. Anna's Antonsen is back in the big time. Comprehensive performance. 21-16, 21-7 confirmation of that scoreline. Match clock rounded up to 41 minutes. Well, it really was a terrific performance today by Anders Atkinson. Right from the onset of the match was brilliant. So coming up next is the first of the men's doubles. It's the reigning world champions, Kang and Saw from Korea, up against the Asian Games gold medalists, ranking ready and Shetty. Lumpur, and this is the scene just outside the Axiata Arena. It's like a little village where people can eat and people can meet, and it really is a wonderful atmosphere. Well, our next semi-final today is 